Greetings adventurers, I am thrilled to share my story with you. I am a developer and a designer, and I've always loved games, especially old, weird, niche ones. But today's story isn't about the games or about me, it's about this little fellow. This is Retroid Pocket Flip 2, a little cozy Android-based handheld. When I got it, I was immediately enchanted. Unlike Steam Deck or GPD, something I could actually carry in a pocket. I thought it would be the perfect device. I imagined myself curled up in a bed playing Castlevania or Bubba is You, but then I powered it on and was met with… <sighs> these… Android launches. I tried them all. Retroid launcher, console launcher, total launcher, launcher launcher, smart launcher, all of them are either half-baked or not in my style or just don't want to work with landscape devices. Not a surprise, because most of them were made for the phones. So no controller support, standard screens with icons, app drawers and so on. And when I tried to customize them, very soon I found myself in the hell of additional apps like KWGT, Tasker, all of them run in background, eat battery. And as a cherry on the top, most of these are paid. And then it hit me. I have to create my own interface. So I fired up Android Studio, graphics editor, a sound editor, and before I knew it, I was crafting a new world. And I made my own OS. Not just a launcher, a real feeling interface. Built for handhelds, built for me, and maybe for you too. Welcome to Trinket OS. It's a cozy pixel art custom system infused with retro nostalgia that transforms your Android based handheld into something personal and alive. Something like an old terminal or a forgotten world machine. Let me show you around. In this menu we see trinkets, those little widgets on top and bottom. There is clock, date, you can show phases of the moon, dice, or if you are like me, you can use your own images to show, for example, items from the Binding of the Isaac. And yeah, by default clock uses Roman numerals, because why not? Now design section. There are different backgrounds, including animated ones, and if you are a pixel artist that wants to participate, you are welcome. You can change special effects and colors. Now Sprite. It's your little companion. No AI, just pure nostalgia. There are two skins for now. He can sleep, you can drag him across the screen, and he will react to different events. For example, he will greet you when you open the screen. Controls. You can map all the buttons, for example, to move between tabs, to switch music and so on. Tabs are divided into two pages and sticks scroll them separately. You can select items in the pop-up menus, click them, and by default left and right shoulders switch between tabs. Of course, you can also use touch, and only a couple of things cannot yet be done with the buttons. For example, like this one. You can even remap the volume buttons. For example, by default they change volume, but you can change them to control brightness. In Trinket OS, you are not just a user, you are a world dweller. You can wear hats, you can also try to get achievements. If you can, of course. You can discover secret glyphs. And you have 5 skills to upgrade. And if you are an active member of the community, you will get a personal secret glyph. But enough about settings. Customizable tabs can show text files, can contain a list of various items, can show a list of apps and shortcuts, or a file manager. You can copy files, move files, unzip archives, or open text or image files on the other side. By the way, let's change music. So if you have a Retroid, an Odin or other handheld, you are invited. Trinket OS is open, weird and free.